Striving to improve performance is all part of the day job for any athlete. Training hard, eating right. But for sports women, a better understanding of the menstrual cycle could lead to those all-important marginal gains. The English Institute of Sport has joined forces with Mint Diagnostics to roll out regular saliva testing of female athletes in a groundbreaking pilot research programme, tracking how women's sporting performances may fluctuate due to hormonal changes. And all of this testing is being done on this hormonics machine. Rich, can you talk me through how it works? Yeah, so the, the entire test is integrated on this microfluidic cartridge. We insert it into the reader. We add the saliva to the test strip and then the software guides us through the next steps of adding several different reagents and then after 45 minutes we get a hormone result. This portable system has made hormone testing simpler and less invasive. Female athletes collect saliva samples in these small tubes a few times a week ready for analysis. So what we've done is miniaturise what is a, a laboratory analysis technique onto our microfluidics platform. Um, so previous to hormonics, the, the way to monitor hormones was to, to use blood analysis, um, and which is expensive, requires skilled professionals to, to take the blood, um, and it would take several hours to get the results of the hormones. British modern pentathlete Jess Varley says she has a normal menstrual cycle, but symptoms related to it would often impair her results. I always felt a little bit just bloated and, and not quite right just in the week before my period and it was slightly affecting my performance in uh, running and fencing. I did a little just experiment with my, by myself um, throughout lockdown when I was just running uh, and I did a 1500 every week uh, for four weeks and my time was 15 seconds slower in the week before my period than it was any other time. And for Jess, understanding what was going on through hormonics has been a real game changer. I've actually had a, a fantastic year running and um, swimming. I've, I've had personal best in, in everything. I've had personal best in my 200 metres in the pool. Um, and then I've, I've run a 1500 personal best all the way through. I've done 1500, 3K, 5K, 5 miles and 10K. And I've, I've smashed all my bests in all of those this year. Out of nowhere, like I'm 26, you don't normally just smash everything in a year. For other elite female athletes, the strain of high performance sport on the body can have both short and long term consequences. And Richard Burden from the EIS believes that tracking the rise and fall of oestrogen and progesterone could provide the key to improving not just the performance of an athlete, but her well-being too. So a really common one um, for us in sport is relative energy deficiency syndrome. So it's essentially a mismatch of the amount of energy an athlete is taking in versus the amount of energy that they are using. And so over time, if there is a chronic deficit, so if they're using more energy than they're taking in, then over time that has physiological consequences. So the body kind of goes into um, conservation mode, so it switches off things that it currently doesn't need. And one of the first things it switches off is reproduction. Now we know that that can have quite severe consequences, both in the short term for health and performance, but also for the, for the long term. Uh, that type of menstrual irregularity where the hormones are, are kind of flatlining has consequences on bone health, immune function, training adaptation, you know, future fertility. And so what we are able to do is, is to actually determine the, the menstrual status, to see exactly what the hormones are doing. Compared to other areas of sport and exercise science, the menstrual cycle is one of the least studied fields. And that's something the EIS and Mint Diagnostics are aiming to change, hoping the data that they collect could unlock a new level of performance for elite sportswomen and possibly even wider society.